In this ukulele video, we got a review performance of this brand new Pineapple Sunday that I just got in. I'll talk more about it because it looks really cool. It sounds even better, so stick around. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to Ukulele Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and then turn on the bell notification so that way you're gonna alert anytime I post a new video, lesson, tutorial, review, or demonstration <laughs> of any kind of ukulele that I get in here. So, so this one is a pineapple Sunday. Um, it's very cool. It's very unique looking. Also with the wood combinations, and I got a few special things I got to tell you about it. But first, let me do a little playing for it. So we've noticed with these uh, videos on these ukuleles that it's nice to really hear that finger picking because it, I think it really shows uh, the character of the instrument. So I want to start with that. Also do some strumming as well. But let's talk about what this is. So you notice on the top here, we got a spruce top. It does have the, the patented, I guess, or the, the secret uh, indentation, I'm going to call it, of the pineapple lines here. And I asked Pop how he does this. Mm -mm, wouldn't tell me. Show me everything else how he does, but not that. But then you notice that it has all these little, these are all little Koloha um, logos here, and they're burnt into each little, each little diamond here. Okay, so this is uh, pyrography, which is where they burn into the wood. And if you feel it, there's just a little bit of indentation there because you're actually putting it into the wood. So um, I think it's cool. I think with the, the real light spruce and the black logos, it looks really cool. All right, so look at the sides here. This is mango wood. Let me show you, let me show you both sides too, because it's really cool. Because look at the, the beautiful wood here, and then the back of it, notice the back, just a really clean piece of spruce. And this is all, this is Eagleman spruce. So it's a really nice spruce. This is the kind of spruce that they use in guitars, a lot of guitar companies. All right, now what's also unique about this one is well you have the the mahogany neck which which is that's all of them all the kolohas have them um, but notice the headstock you have the koloha crown and this is probably like the last one that you're going to see like this so pops has a new headstock logo for his um is pineapple sundays i know that people love this koloha crown it's awesome but his new new headstock i think it's pretty cool um, and then just keep aware of something called Uke's essay. Okay, I won't say anything more about it, but but just pay attention to that. Um, then you have the uh, abalone here in the headstock here in the logo. You have abalone here in the fret markers, and then you have an ebony fretboard, and then also an ebony bridge right here. So this thing is cool. What I like about this, and I'll play a little bit more, is the clarity of the, the sound. Right? I mean, it's like you're hearing those, those overtones, those harmonics, which I talk about on these, but it's really clear on this one. But it's actually f night, it's warm sounding, right? It's not e A lot of these have like more higher end than lower end, but this one sounds really nice to me. And we do have a low, uh, no, this is a high G. So I have a high G on it. So if you even wanted to get more bass here, you could just add a low G to this. It'd be fine. These things can handle a low G if that's something you're into. A um, couple of things before I forget too. This is a concert size body, but you have a tenor neck. Okay, so that's kind of unique. So you have the nice smaller body of the concert, makes this thing easy to hold, but then you have the spacing and the length of the tenor neck, which to me works really well for my fingers, okay? Um, all right, so let me do some strumming. I'm gonna just do, uh, what should I do here? Um, well, I'll do a little blues here. Um, should I do a blues in, yeah, we'll just, let's just change it up. I always do a blues in A. Let's do, let's do one, uh, how about an E, okay, so.
Ah, just having fun with that one. <laughs> just I normally don't even play an E, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's do like kind of more of a, a pop strumming thing, okay? Alright, so this is this is a cool sounding ukulele. It, I mean, it feels great. It's set up. It's ready to go. There's like no no setup needed to go. Um, I will ship this out. I'll actually buy a hard case for it because it doesn't come with a hard case, but I'll buy it and include it for that. So um, let me know if you're interested or have any questions about it. If you're interested, you can just go ahead and and grab it because it's a uh, great sounding ukulele. It looks cool and one of a kind. And again, you know, if you like this old Koloha crown, this might be your last opportunity to get something like this. So. That's going to do it. Thanks for being here and uh, good luck to you if, you know, this is the one that you want.